Well, that's true, but still. It wasn't my fault yesterday. It was Lost Dark's fault and the other guy's fault. Um, that's just one day kick. Yeah, but all day, every day. Anyway, I think I wanna talk with the first. I wasn't even sure if I wanna stream, but I was like. No, uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna stream on Friday. Oh wait, I didn't wanna come down here though. Oh, hello. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Mm, but wait, wasn't. Ashley with Captain Kerhewa. I'm honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Why are they the here? Losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Hey, me lefty. Came to lurk because I have foot coma. You and me both. Uh. I don't want your... I oh, yeah, miss her. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sam. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. Maybe. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn gas. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Thank you, Garrus. I'll keep that in mind. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do catch him. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? No, goodbye. Uh, and I'm not gonna do that. Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Sarah? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous <coughs> to be killed alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him. Yeah, I agree, actually. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. <laughs> Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, ma'am. Nice. I'm really afraid of the second and third game right now. There are gonna be way more decisions that I can regret. That's what I expect from all my people. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Oh, he real. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. Well, let's talk quickly with Tully and then Caden and then Lear, and then we should be good to go. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. <laughs> I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Saren's our top priority. But with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. 
It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the Migrant Fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. That must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the guests. I will make sure you will. That's not going to happen. There's still millions of guests behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Theron's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. All right. I see you. Go. See you later. Okay, now Kaden and Nira, and we should be good to go to. I lost. Oh wait, I, I am having a brain fart. Oh wait, there's... Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not and not here I come you know, losing too. How did you deal with the losses in Torpor? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, now. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. We'll talk another time. Probably, time. but it, it's fine. I really wanted to room as kid and but whatever. Not gonna say no to Ububa time either. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I'm going yes. to be fine. Yes, we already I talked about this. Dr. Chakwas knows I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He's trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. 
He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Ah, uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Mm. I guess that's it. Give me a sec. Uh, Bye, I plug in this. If I want to draw later. Of course, yes. You want to draw? Anyway. I guess I can go now. Like, I'm not doing any of these things. Like, I have plenty of good missions that I can do. I can game and be an asshole. Wait, why did I? Oh my god, why am I so stupid today? The food kicked in for me too, I guess. Ooh, oh wait, I kind of want to talk with Joker. Go! Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Well, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Good. Now we can really... I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council is massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gaff took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Surely it will go well. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Out. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! But um, Just politics, Commander. You've done your job. Kaden, you're a genius. Mind. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Oh, hello, Yara. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. 
It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I should have known better. Ludina, the Council, they're all the same. Petty, blind, and stupid. <laughs> Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Are you now? Are you? Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from <laughs> Captain Anderson. I really like Liara's like little work. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. You guys can come. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has it's the, the deck. deck. Is it true that your biotic implants cause headaches, Lieutenant? I know some meditation exercises that might help. Thanks, Leora. I appreciate that. Makes me wonder what it would have been like to have Asari tutors instead of Turians. Given the attitude most young human males display toward my people, it seems Turians were the best choice. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, where did I go? Flux, right. Is that on the first? Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Maybe he's there. Our best man. I can insult him. Oh, yes, he's there. Good. Commander, I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. Why the hell would I care about this, Conrad? I've been nice, but you're wasting my time. So that's how it is? The rest of us should just let you reap the <laughs> fame and glory? Well, you're not the only one who can stand up for humanity. I'll show you. Okay, this is pretty boring, but whatever. I thought that were extra, but whatever. You're the Spectre, right? Who are you and what do you want from me? It is an honor to speak with you. Yeah, cram your honor. What's this riot about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. It is gratifying to hear. <laughs> we can't allow anything like Shan Shi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support no. for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with you. <laughs> I'm contradicting. I'm glad oh. you support the democratic oh. process at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Um, surely. Why was that Paragon, though? Wait, is that even going to flux? No, yeah. Throw the appeasers out. The wave. Pardon me, 
soldier? Could I take a moment of your time? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. Uh huh. So you need drugs. Oh. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Getting you your drug fix is not high on my list of priorities, Keeler. What century are you living in? Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. I still can't believe that could happen out in the open like that. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the Conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer. I kind of want to see the second option, though. In Citadel control. Like, I, I, um, most of the time, broke into the office. I don't think that I ever chose this. I hope he's not gonna die, though. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Alright, let's do this. If you've gotten your temper back under control, I could still use help. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... Yeah. I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. That's an addict talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. Good choice. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. It's never too late to get help. I wasn't the nicest, but... With him, wait, 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 was there a... The port or something? Yes. Fast travel, not teleport. Uh, I think it's more location. Let's see, go. Soliara, you've spent 50 years studying Prothean ruins and artifacts. 
Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. Well, I think you've spoken for scientists everywhere, Liana. Nice friendly chitty chat. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't Only one guard? That's kind of cheap, but okay. Okay, this is the boring one. Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now! Ooh. Are they actually shooting him? What the fuck? Is the mission failed? <laughs> Kick. Oh no. Okay. Good. I'm sorry, Anderson. Go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. I wanted to see this at least. One. Just want to check something. Wait, this way. I can buy a better armor or something. Because I don't have a lot of good options. Because, yeah, to be honest, I wasn't really looting, I wasn't doing all the quests. Light quests, that is. Get more. I just want to see what the dude has. Let's go for the distance. Oh, I, <clears throat> I forgot about this maxi time. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I, I like the music special. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> she went in.
And that. Oh, I can see that you redeemed it, but I don't hear anything, and I don't see anything dropping. Oh, the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. That's cool again. <laughs> Look, yeah. Ready for round two? <laughs> Commander. <laughs> Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I uh. better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting, Shepard. Not the rhythm box, eyes. yeah. I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Yelena, can you check if the others are working? Like, I don't know, something has with the channel points? Because might be that something. I have to remove it. Just redeem something. Channel points. Coffee. Coffee. Mm. Coffee. Then it's... Coffee. That's one. Coffee. Yeah. Very choppy. Ah, uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? The stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone is really? away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Oh yeah, There's it's not closer. a. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Okay. Drop us in the Mako. You need um, at least a hundred meters um. of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters. We'll never get in close. But shouldn't it show drop. something? We have to That's try. weird. I have to find check it later. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option, it's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. I mean, you're the first time we were using it, so I was not even remembering what that is actually. <laughs> Why are you tropping? I mean, I don't think it's a sound alert, Yelena. I think it's just like a simple something, but I'm gonna check it out what it is actually. But thanks, you. We have to get into uh -huh. this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. Can I just say? We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. It'd be nice, like run through with the Mako, but I actually need to change to this baby. Okay, no armor. Oh, you have six points. Uh, let me quick, kitty quick. Okay, good that I can't give you any more points. You have zero points. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So. Oh, wait, what? Damn. So you know, I'm I'm gonna get lost here many many times because directions are hard, right? I love this weapon. Yeah. Oh. There's a big dude, oh no. 
Oh, there's another big dude. Oh no. Somewhere. I owe you one. Yes, you do, Kaden. Okay. Okay. Can we actually? No, please don't shoot me. Cute. Ow, told you not to shoot me. Someone is like there somewhere. One, yeah. Oh, let's just use Omni Chair. I really don't remember the way and I guess you could say that I should look at the map but I, I'm gonna get lost anyway so Where the hell am I going actually? I think I'm going the right way Just gonna go here. Oh, I hate this. These guys are annoying. Oh, I missed. What the? Oh my god, can you like finish them off? Kinda missed the shot there. Oh my god. Finally. Okay, bye! Not dying here. Wait, are they dead? 
Oh, Kaden is actually dead. <gasps> no! Oh, HP, 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 HP. Kaden, why are you dead? Actually, ow, hurt. Wait, what? What? Negative contact, Shepard. I mean, I should have used these guys, but whatever. Surely gonna be able to do this, and I actually did. Well, come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on, something's happening. Truly unable to. Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Mm. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it say? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. of desperation. The conduit... All is lost! It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped! Cannot be stopped! Cannot be stopped! Okay, back now. Kinda like Ilos. It's a teeny tiny little bit depressing, but the environment is pretty cool. All the statues and stuff. But it's that one enemy though. Heads up. Good. It's this way. I'm not gonna stop for anyone and anything, I will just go. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here, Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. Mm. 
What is happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. No. Uh... I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? I don't know. I just hope that whatever's down here is friendly. We've got enough enemies at the moment. Mm. Oh, I really miss the jumping around part. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. It's pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Saren Wanted to... Right now. We have to go. go on, desperate. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has Not been the with every person. civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking <laughs> achoo, achoo. mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret <sighs> facility. Here, researchers Enough. worked to Hello, create Chase. a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a back door onto the city. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside. <laughs> and our facility here. <laughs> went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed. Decades. Centuries. 
The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. Honestly, let's just say that due to some things that uh, happened in December, I couldn't go and get uh, tested for sure. But, um, I'm like 90% sure that I have some kind of pollen allergy or something because, like, I'm pretty much sneezing all day. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm sneezing all day, blowing my nose all day. My eyes can get, um, you should have fought. We were very against a itchy invasion. sometimes. It's not that bad, but it's more like annoying. Detected. And I'm sorry to hear that I began to disable the you're dying from the other team. Personnel. Luckily, it's not First that bad for me, I guess. Security. One by one, their pods were shut but down I fear you, energy. Tropic. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key yeah. personnel. No. <laughs> when the Reapers retreated, the top yeah. researchers were still alive. It was My such a beautiful weather today, though. Hope remains. When the researchers I know it's pretty broke, basic to talk the about the weather. Was doomed. There were only but a dozen individuals left, far too few it was so to sustain nice. a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the keepers were the key. Usually it lasts just to be strong, yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong, strong, strong. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The keepers are Prepare with lots of tissue. Citadel. Before each invasion, the Good weather is best for us the other day, Chick. Better summer weather. Uh, despite everything, I still prefer spring. Study, the I don't like summer. discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the My body doesn't like it either. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. But, but summer, but not gonna step outside during summer. And my AC is gonna run all day, every day. Like, I can't. I mean, I can. I'm just over exaggerating, of course. But, like, my body just, like, if, if the temperature is above 25 degree and like i'm already dying at 24 degree just so you know but if it's like above that like i'm done like i'm sweating i'm, I'm comfortable i'm dizzy i get i'm not meant to exist somewhere <laughs> usually it is yeah especially in recent years because of the climate change really bad especially in budapest it's bad anyway but um budapest is a very big city with like lots of concrete you know and it can get very hot there <clears throat> i'll take sovereign down somehow there's a data file in my console take a copy when you go when you reach the citadel's master control unit upload it to the station so it will corrupt even the though Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of I'm the missing sunlight it might give you a chance against sovereign in my current flat Where's the it's master control unit? I'm very really lucky because through the conduit um, follow Saren. he will lead you to your destination it's somewhat located in a way that um, it will gradually get hot 
but until June it's pretty bearable in my flat like it stays cold until I think middle June or it, well I guess it depends how Sarah's hot is it gonna be Grab that data file and let's go. but Are you sure? in you that way it's pretty good Even and I have AC me. there so this might be our that's like to speak with it. Our A plus it is the opportunity of a lifetime. Are you insane? <laughs> to save the galaxy and you want to play Q and A with a hologram? Oh my God! I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We, we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. That's straight not up yet. abuse. <laughs> there is still hope if you hurry. I'm not gonna ask if summer is hot in Spain, okay? <laughs> Uh, I would love to visit Spain someday. Never been there before. All the culture, all the advanced technology. But and probably not during summer, unless I have a death wish. They failed. Not entirely. They've given us a weapon. They've given us a chance. If we can just get there in time. Oh, 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 I can't behave. Nah, uh, maybe we just went over the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good event to be part of. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past guys, have fun. I don't have time for this. I'm, I'm a busy woman saving the galaxy. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm losing control. Incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually love these video cutscenes. They are so cool, I swear to God. They're so epic. With the music and the graphics. It's so cool. I'm actually planning to make a Mass Effect t-shirt for my staff. If I can't have it from Bioware store. I'm gonna make it myself. Activate the defenses, seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the council! Citadel control! Citadel control! Do you copy? Nope, they are not. Oh, the council decision is coming. What are you going to choose? Honestly, I just kind of want to kill the council. But I did kill the council the last time, so... Maybe I should change up a little bit. But you guys can choose. Do you want me to kill the council or... Save them? Ah, don't shoot me! I have an N7 Favaro. You want it? 
Oh, I want it. I want everything must affect. Please begin emergency evacuation. Thank you. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please be emergency. Oh wait. Wait, uh, not that way. Uh. Critical failures. Across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation procedure. I'm still crying about the backpack. But it was just too much. And on top of that I would had to pay like customs. I was like, nope. Even though I love the backpack, I'm not gonna pay hundred euros for a backpack, like or dollars. I think it was dollars. Maybe if I'm if I'm rich, maybe I'll stay. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Ah, oh, this is so. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. So guys, should I save the council or let them die? I let them die the last time. Just an FYI. I'm bugging out because my eyes are itchy. I'm trying to get not itchy. <sighs> what is this? What is the more evil option? Honestly, I don't know. If you just focus on Sovereign and Sovereign is the Reaper ship, then and not save the Council, then the Council will die. Are they a good or always let them die? They are useless, always in the way. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The the only reason why I'm a bit kicky because the stuff is like begging for me to help. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get the cancel. They deserve Sarah's to die anyway. Suit up. We're going outside. They will know not to mess with me because I'm hanging up on them and then let them die. Good. Good plan. Also, it does not matter as they will just simply make a new one in M2, yeah. That is true. Yeah, Odina is the one, yeah. We never liked him. And my... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything because... Some new peeps might be watching this at some point, so... I don't wanna avoid anything. Fuck Udina. Oh wait, that was such a bad miss way, but... Actually, I'm gonna say because there's gonna be a section when there are Krogans and they're gonna just charge at me and I'm gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> no game, I let them live and they're more cooperative, but they're useless. Yeah. Yeah, 
they're pretty much useless anyway. Okay, this is the place where the Krogans are gonna come. I'm just like leaving, I think. <laughs> Wait, not the crocus yet, but anyway. The big guy, oh no, the big guy. Ah, not the big guys. They're so scary when they start to charge it, you guys swear. Okay, now are the Krogans, I swear it's the Krogans, yes. A shotgun with impact munition that throws every here on the combination with bad because he's like cheating. Oh yeah. I'm like sniping though. I don't like shotguns. I'm a coward. I like to shoot them from far away. It. Oh my god, another one. That's gonna hurt someone. Yeah, it did. Oh, and then another one! Stop! Stop! Honestly, biotics are my favorite. I love the shotguns in the first game that make them fly make the fly thing only was possible in the game. Honestly I was never big on shotguns. Like I was really mostly an adept. Because I'm like into biotics and stuff. Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? Okay, one is down. Ow, what the fuck? Okay then. Wake up. Okay. One more 
to go. Actually, two more to go, but that's not gonna hit here. Okay. Can go now. Okay, Kaden. Where is the other one? It's there somewhere. Oh, he's there. Alright. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the combat here. I like the combat starting from the second game. Alright, we're good to go. Like this overheating, I just hate so much. And I get super annoying. I got the logic behind it, but that doesn't make me like it more. Okay guys, we are really close now. I actually finishing the game today. My fastest playthrough ever. Okay, uh wait, is that shift? Thing the one who's sniping. And game, and game, game. It in time, Shepard. Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I'm heading to that master control panel, and you can't stop me. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me fancy hardware is not gonna save you you don't understand Shepard there is a place for organics in the new order the Reapers need men and women of action people like us sovereign recognizes your value you've impressed it surrender to the Reapers and you will be spared join us and we can find a place for you I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. Mm. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. 
You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. <sighs> this line and this... I don't know, it just doesn't, like... Make sense. Hold on here. Oh, I really like how they have the same outfit. I just noticed Vigil uh, almost the same. Worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, the Romance the team. Arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he yeah, gains control the same. of the station. Yeah, it's the same. Doesn't make any See difference. If you can open a communications channel. I feel like there are more the consequences in all for your actions. The, the other games. I thought you fought him twice. Hmm. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel. Soon, we'll DM Tropic. Soon, DM. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Do not waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Let the Council die. Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. Sacrifice the Council for the greater good? I sure hope you know what you're doing. I know. All alliance ships. I really like how they are lecturing me. Shot at sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Admiral Hackett. My favorite dude. After Anderson, of course. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. They have so big eyes. I didn't even notice it before. Deep Council. I just don't believe that they don't have like evac pods or something. Like, what the hell? Make sure he's dead.
He looks so creepy. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. Okay, okay. What's happening? I love these cutscenes. I could easily watch like the animated series. It would be so freaking awesome. But that's probably never gonna happen. Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Okay, where is that abomination? Caps lock. Give me alone, caps lock. Uh, actually, I need a different weapon. Ah, oh, it's too far away. Please, I could have just used my assault rifle. What the heck? They love sniping, okay. Music. We did it, guys. We're going in. choking on air, nice. Halfway dying. Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Oh, they're so sad the because commander. they think I'm dead. They will never die.
I'm back, babe. Hmm. Actually, cannot wait in the second game to have all those cars and stuff. I'm gonna look we epic. Message, Ambassador. What's all this about? These are strange times, Captain. The battle with Sovereign changed everything. Oh my God! What is the rainbow tropic? Looks scary. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree. But this also things, presents things, us with an opportunity. The council is dead. The galaxy is really tempted to start the second the game. Fleets were but no, in the attack. must we? The losses have made the alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. The council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, I took it. Good God, Shepard! How can you even say that? <laughs> Don't be so surprised, Captain. We all know it's true. Oh Sacrifice my God! I actually never chose that option. What the heck? The end justified the means. We humans understand that. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. <laughs> The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone. Humanity. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. and They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth. Your defiance of the council. That's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. This is so the wrong. Will follow us, Shepard. They know where their only hope. We will have a human council I wish I could with a trophy. human chairman. The ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. I'm sorry, with Anderson. You've done, I'm, I... The Alliance I'm... will want to know who you think our chairman should be. Well, not you. Fuck you. We're about to go into war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They are coming. And I'm going to find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and see. Wait, the scene is completely different though. Like, weren't we talking in like the garden area? Oh my god, why is this red? Was it like this before, if you're a Paragon? I don't think it was like this before. Or I'm... Like... I'm not sure if this is like... I'm, I'm stupid and I, I... And I don't remember correctly. But I'm... Uh, you're like a demon or something, yeah, right? Like, if I'm Paragon, it looks completely different, right? And even like the talk with Anderson and Udina, we are at maybe in Udina's office or somewhere else where we can see like the, the presidium, the trees and all that shit. Not like there. 